Hi, welcome to Wilder Branding. My name is Joy Fido and today we're going to do something exciting as always. Um, we're going to take out weaves. Now it's very important you know how to take out weaves. Why? Because weaves taken out is one of those things that's actually causing a lot of hair damage out there. Health and safety, very big on weaves. Because some people have this habit of just taking their scissors, sticking into the weave, and then cutting it out. What they find out is they've actually cut out their own hair. So this is the reason we're going to take you through the steps that will guide you to take out weaves properly without causing damage. So to get us started, there are the first things you need to know. What are the tools that you need in order for you to work out a great taking out of the waves number one on this list is this now this is called a seam on ripper or seam ripper if you know how to sew you will be familiar with this equipment it's one of the best things that can actually take out waves without damaging your hair by the way we have them in stock so if you do need your seam ripper come to us we get it for you now we have scissors here this is again for people who don't know how to find the seam repair your scissors will do a good job but of course i'm going to take you through how you work with them then of course you have your razor blade again if you can find a good scissors you can find your seam repair and this is all you have we'll take you through how this works then of course you need clips and then you need brushes because once you've taken out the hair you want to be able to brush it out and work with it now i'm going to mention something about brushes there are so many types of brushes out there don't say because it hasn't got a brand name on it or it doesn't look in a particular way we've had issues where clients are thinking it's only the one i've seen you work with that i want no brushes are brushes their job is to brush out the hair so whatever brush you can find is okay work with it okay so then we have combs and these are like large tooth combs the reason we insist on large tooth combs is because they help to really comb out the hair without dragging out a lot of hair because remember she's worn this hair for some time and there are new growths and there are deaths underneath the hair so you want to be able to just comb it through without causing a lot of friction and pulling through then of course there's another lovely product here we this particular one is made by african pride and it's called the ease out spray there's another one here is made by better braids and it's called the on braid so on braid is out spray and there are a few other ones out there now their job is you know after the person has worn the hair for a period you normally apply sprays and you apply all kinds of things to make your hair look all beautiful and nice what happens is these products tend to go to the base of your scalp the base of your hair and they sit there and wait so when you do take out your hair what you find is there are clumps at the base these clumps sometimes are really really stiff and they don't break so most people will end up taking the comb to try and force it out what happens is they actually drag your hair with them when they're coming out so this is where the ombre or the ease out or so many others out there come in when you spray them on those clumps they actually loosen it and that's why they call them ombre and ease out so when they loosen it you can then comb the hair through before you go and shampoo it but our advice, make sure you comb through the hair. The hair has to be combed through properly before you shampoo. Because if you don't do that, what happens is, the minute water touches that clumped up bit of the hair, those clumps just sit there and they refuse to come out. And then it's gonna become you forcing it and dragging it. The other two we would need is usually our tinkle. Because they just help you to make sure there are no bits of thread in the hair when you finish taking it out so let's get started okay so let's get started this is a full head of weave that we've completed recently 
complete closure with you this is the best place to start with because you want to make sure that you're not making any mistakes at all now remember the closure it takes really a long time to create it so equally it takes some time to take it out and this is where lots of clients are getting confused because they think uh, it's something they can do on their own always advise them to come back to you to take out the wave because you know exactly where you put the stitches so this is what we do you hold all the hair together and what you're going to do is go back on yourself so go back on yourself means just go back on the tracks that you created and this taking a wave is all about the needle and thread stitch weave because there are so many other types of weave what we are working with here is taking out the needle and thread stitch weave okay so this is our line of track how do we take this out so you remember i showed you different tools i'm going to start with the blade now whenever you work with the blade make sure you have that paper attached to it so you just fold it and you have access to the blade don't let the blade touch your fingers because when they do they actually cut into your skin so this is what you do you pull the hair a bit can you see the thread and you just nip on the thread see that nip on the thread nip on it So pull the thread a bit, the weft basically, and then just nip. All your interest is on that thread, not on the hair. Okay, so we've taken out our braid, um, our weave, and now we've got the cornrow. We just given you guidance on how to just take our cornrows because if you did a course in cornrow, you will be told how to do this. But just for the sake of it so your comb goes into the gaps that you have inside the corn roll okay so there you have it um look at the hair extensions in my hand it's all intact nothing damaged and this is what we say you'll be doing with your client's hair so if this was virgin hair i'm going to take it and then i'll go and shampoo it nicely so she can reuse the hair um we told you everything there is to know about taking out weaves now something you need to know we have just finished creating the dvd for you to actually do your full closure corner weave and that is available on sale soonest um we want you to be one of the first to order it because it's very very detailed and it's a package of four dvds so you can well imagine if you've been following our training how detailed we are remember water braiding is all about professional natural hair and extensions beauty so if your hair is done and you need them taken out professionally as well to make sure you don't lose your precious hair we are here to help you go through that so come to us email us write us um stay in touch with us phone us and we are thinking of organizing something as well that's going to be quite useful for you we're going to be talking to you through skype we're going to arrange all that and we'll let you know when that happens so we'll be taking you through things that are happening to you that you need help with so thank you for watching and we we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video